Hey guys, it's Sophie. Welcome to my channel. I think that this is important to talk about because I get a lot of questions. I have quite a few people that still follow me because of a show that I was on growing up and they have a lot of questions about me and my life and my relationship with people from the show. People that might have started following me over the last year or so might have no idea what this is all about. So for you, it's a little bit of an insight into me to get to know me a little bit better, get to know my past a bit. For those of you that might not know, I was an actor when I was younger. I was on a TV show that gained a bit of popularity in certain countries, and some people still follow me because of that. <laughs> Just a cat butt in the video. A lot of people are still looking at me to create content related to the show, and I get asked a lot of questions about the show, and I, I'm so, so forever grateful that people take their time to like ask me questions. But sometimes when it comes to answering questions related to part of my past that's so long ago, I don't know how to answer them. So for those of you who might be new to my channel, my name is Sophie and I hail from Toronto, Canada. I work in advertising full time. I'm a project manager producer. I absolutely love fashion and beauty and I grew up in the entertainment industry. You might notice if you follow me on Instagram or you check the comments in some of my YouTube videos that people talk about a show I was on a lot. And you might see me called Stevie and wonder what kind of weird nickname is this? It's not. It was the name of a character I played for quite some time. I guess I was a child actor. That word is never good, is it? <laughs> So when I was 11, I was an actor in Toronto. My whole family was in the industry. I didn't work that much, to be honest, as a kid. I got things here and there, but never that consistently. When I was 11, I went out for an audition for a Australian-Canadian co-production. A co-production essentially means that production companies from two different places decide to co-fund and co-make a TV show or a movie. So in this case, a production company in Canada and a production company in Australia came together to make a show called The Saddle Club. This was a book series that an American writer had written. It had quite a big popularity kind of years before, and they decided to make a TV show out of it because they thought that it would be quite successful and it would be really family friendly. Without going into too much detail about the storyline, the show is essentially about three young girls who meet at a stable where they all ride and they become the best of friends. So I got this show when I was 11 and that meant that my mom and I moved to Australia for six months out of the year. I moved to Australia. I had never been. To me, I mean, I was 11. I was very young. Australia was the other side of the world, literally. It was a country I knew very little about. I actually had some family there, but I'd never been. And it was a huge adventure. It was pretty scary at first, but it ended up being the most amazing experience. The show was a huge part of my life for a really, really long time. There was a point where I thought we were gonna carry on with it for years to come. I had an incredible experience with it, but I was 11 on and off till I was 18. We did two seasons of the show. We did um, a live event in Sydney. We did music with it. So it ended up kind of trailing on for a really long time. And I was really happy about that. It was such a good experience. But I ended the show over 10 years ago. That is insane. And I don't want to live in a show that I did as a kid when I'm now almost 30 years old. And it's not that I don't want to because it didn't make an impact on my life and I didn't love my time on it. It's just that it's a kid's show and I don't want to stay in kids' content forever. As you guys can imagine, you grow up, you have your own interests. And for me, it was a job. Granted, I was young and I liked horses and I loved the cast and the people that I got to work with. It was a job and I don't ride anymore. I do whatever I get the chance. It's super fun, but I don't ride on the regular. I don't even act at the moment. So it's tough for me to live all in that part of my life when it was so long ago. I'm trying to make content and put it out there of things that I really enjoy and that I really want to be doing. 
Um, and I hope that nobody takes this the wrong way, but my content's not gonna be very related to the Saddle Club. I still have really amazing friends from the show and I love them so dearly, um, but most of my content on this channel going forward will be lifestyle, fashion, and beauty related. So if that interests you in any way, always let me know what you guys want to see, what you're loving that I'm putting out, what maybe you want to see more or less of, let me know. I'd always love us to keep an open dialogue in the comment section. I absolutely love hearing what you guys have to say. But I didn't want to never talk about Saddle Club again. And to be honest, I'll talk about it. I'm open about it. I just wanted to be totally transparent with you guys in terms of what I want out of this channel and what I'm going to do with this channel. So I definitely wanted to take this video to address it, talk about it, tell you answers to questions that I get all the time about the show. So let's get into it. Let's chat all things being a child actor. Also, I'm on my living room floor. It's a new setup. I think it might be okay. Do you like it? Let me let me know what you guys think. <sighs> okay, so like I said, I got the Saddle Club when I was 11. I was very young. I moved to Australia just with my mom. My dad was a teacher in Canada, so he couldn't leave. He had work, but my mom was a freelance writer, so she came with me and we moved to Melbourne, Australia. It was the best. Melbourne is still one of my favorite cities in the whole world. So beautiful they have the best people such a vibrant culture i just love them so much i miss australia more than i dare to ever let on that's not true i talk about australia constantly you can ask my boyfriend he teases me about my obsession with australia constantly so i gotta go back very soon or else that would be silly so how did i get into acting is a question that i get quite a bit i kind of grew into it I know that's a really silly answer, but it's true. I am the youngest of four siblings and um, all three siblings were in the industry. And so I kind of just got born into it. I think I mentioned I didn't work that much when I was younger and I'm kind of grateful for that because I know that it can be a really tough industry. It's not an industry I would personally ever put my children in. Um, I think that it um, can just really disrupt a life. Like I'm lucky that I didn't work that much, but if I worked all the time, I don't think that would have been very good. I think that it can be really, really tough. Um, so some of my most common questions. So number one, do I stay in touch with the cast? I get asked this a lot. I do, I totally do. Um, we all live very far away. Not one person lives in Toronto right now. Um, half the cast, as you can imagine, is from Australia. Um, so Keenan, uh, lives in New York City, so that's amazing, and she has a super thriving, wonderful career, and I haven't seen her in ages, and I want to see her so badly, so I actually went to New York a few times this summer, but I just wasn't, I was there for work, I was in and out super quickly, so I can't wait to see her again soon. Laura um, is from Australia and moved to North America, she's living in LA at the moment, and I actually go to LA a lot. Um, my brother and his family live there. I have a lot of friends there, so including Lara. And so I got to see her a couple times this year and it was the best. She is still such a wonderful friend. It's so, so, so nice to see her. And then the rest of the cast live in Australia for the most part. And I don't see them. Obviously, Australia is very far away, but I am planning a trip. Zach, who's my boyfriend, not to be mistaken with my brother, they have the same name and it's very confusing. Zach has never been, and as I said, makes fun of me that I'm obsessed with Australia, so he has to go because he has to see if I'm obsessed with it, what I'm obsessed about. Like, I think he needs to understand it just a little bit, right? So we are planning a trip at some point soon. I'm hoping in 2019, going to Australia it requires a lot of planning, as you can imagine. It's very far away, so I wanna go for like at least a month, um, which for me, I mean, I work a full-time job, taking a month off is not really feasible, so um, we're gonna try and plan that out and make it happen soon. So yes, very close to the cast. Um, they're kind of like family to me. It, we don't talk all the time. We definitely don't see each other all that often, but. They're people that I grew up with. We'll always be there for each other. We love each other. We have so many fond memories together. So even when we don't talk or see each other all that often, we're still so close. Like when I saw Lara for the first time, she actually came to Toronto um, three years ago and I hadn't seen her in seven years. And when she came, it was like no time had passed. It was just instant. 
Another question I get asked a lot is, do I ride horses? And did I ride before the show? So the show is about girls that ride horses and meet at the stable and all that. So I actually did ride before the show. Um, I grew up, my sister was a rider. She actually owned horses when I was growing up. Um, everything she did, I wanted to do too. So of course I started riding horses. And so I did ride a little bit, but not that often. I didn't own a horse. I didn't compete or anything. Um, but I could definitely ride. So we did ride on the show. We rode ourselves, but any um, jumping or stunts were done by riding doubles and stunt doubles. So for insurance reasons, um, you can't have actors doing that because if they got hurt, the whole show would be shut down. So um, we had stunt and riding doubles and they were great and did amazing work. Hi, Bing. Another question I get asked is if I still act. I don't. I absolutely love acting. I find it so much fun. It's definitely a huge part of who I am as a person. I'm, um, I just love it. But I ended up being really frustrated with how fickle the industry is and how tough it is to get work. And I'm very, very driven and I just wanted to have more control and kind of see myself through a career that I could dictate more than just going to auditions and hoping they chose you. Yes, there's always an element of talent involved, but at the end of the day, there's also so many things out of your control, whether you look a certain way, you act a certain way, you're a certain age, etc. So it's a really tough industry to be in. And um, I think my ideal would be to maybe one day do a bit of acting, but more just for the enjoyment of it and not actually as a career. I also get asked where I live. I live in Toronto. I grew up in Toronto. I love Canada. It's a beautiful country with great people and I just love the opportunities that I have here. I love that there's so many places to travel to really easily. I actually got asked the other day if I would do a video where I watched an episode of The Saddle Club <laughs> and that would honestly just be me like cringing the whole time. Like the amount of times I rolled my eyes and furrowed my brow in that show is it's hilarious, so um, I don't know, maybe. I actually wanted to do a video with Laura last time we were together, but we were so busy and it was so quick that we didn't get the opportunity to, but next time I'll try and put something together. Another question I get asked is where the show was filmed. So it was filmed in two different places in season one. Oh, I'm not even gonna remember the names of any of the places, but it was like a, an hour or so outside of Melbourne in the countryside. Fun fact, um, so the show is written by a woman named Bonnie Bryant who is American. So the show is in theory originally based in the US, but because it was an Australian Canadian co-production and they wanted to appeal to people and kids all over the world, they didn't want to say where it was based. And I remember one day we were filming and we had to stop. They were like yelling cut because there was a kangaroo in the back of the shot. And obviously that's a bit of a telltale sign where it was shot. Um, we also in the first season, if you watch it back, we had really weird accents. Like I think I used to say like Prancer for the horse's name that was Prancer. Like they made us um, change our accents to kind of blend the Australian and the Canadian accents kind of together a bit to make it a bit of a question where it was based, but that ended quickly, we sounded ridiculous because we would speak with normal accents, like normal Canadian and normal Australian accents, and then they would just kind of weirdly blend, and it, it didn't really work. I actually got asked by this girl recently how old I was, and I told her I was 29, and she was like, stunned. I think she thought I was like 18. Um, the show was a very long time ago, and um, I'm glad that it's held up and people continue to enjoy it. I think the concept of friendship and like just like genuine friendship and good adventure with your friends it just it doesn't kind of a story you can tell through the ages so i'm glad that people have enjoyed it they did actually do a third season they recast it with a younger cast um the show the series of books is about younger girls and then the same writer wrote another series i believe called pine hollow which was kind of them into their teens um, so they kind of toyed with the idea of like taking the same cast and putting us in our teens and doing a new season or whether they would do like the whole thing over again with younger girls to appeal to like a new generation of viewers. So that's what they ended up doing. I actually once went to Australia when I was 18 and I visited the set and met the new cast and they were so, so wonderful. So that was, that was really fun. And it was a lot of the same crew. So it was like going and seeing family again. So now I want to talk about 
some of the questions I get asked in terms of being an actor and growing up in front of the camera. People often ask me what it was like being an actor at such a young age. I can honestly say that my experience was generally really positive. I had amazing experiences, I got to meet amazing people, and obviously got to go to amazing parts of the world. Um, I did miss quite a lot of schooling and honestly got bullied a bit because of it. And it was really tough being kind of grade seven and eight. Um, I, I felt my experience was so amazing and I'm a chatty person than I was growing up. I think that that came across to others as me bragging. I think the kids that I was in school with at the time just didn't understand what I was doing, why I was doing it. And, and I remember just wanting to tell everyone everything about my experiences because I was so left out of so many experiences that my friends were going through because I left for like six months at a time. And as a kid, like, that's a long time. You miss all the parties, all the drama, all the different things that are going on. And so, I mean, naturally you would just want to try and fit in by telling everybody what you experienced. Generally, my experiences are good. That being said, I do think that the entertainment industry is an incredibly tough one and I chose to leave it. Um, it chose to leave it for a few reasons I was mentioning because seeing success is really difficult in that industry and it really wears you down. Uh, for the most part, my experience was super positive and I have great things to say about it, but I didn't do it that much. I had two seasons on a show that was like the biggest thing that I did, but if I had continued, I think it could have been really, really tough in going through puberty, for example, on camera. I had my first kiss on camera, which was so weird because you have all these adults just like watching you and they're like feet away from you and there's tons of them just like holding cameras and lights and it's just like the weirdest thing um and you're kissing someone that's like not it, you don't have that experience where you're like i have a crush on this guy or this girl and i want to like kiss him and this is the guy this is who you kiss and i was like cool i haven't kissed anyone before <laughs> i don't know if this video is a, like informative or entertaining in any way but i hope that it was i am happy to do a few more videos to do with this show and my experiences growing up in that world and going through that. I did just want to mention that this that this channel is going to be a bit different and I hope that you guys are interested in that and that you come on this journey with me. I absolutely love creating content. I love that YouTube has come about and there's so many cool things that you can do with it. So I'm really, really, really enjoying what I'm doing. Um, making videos, I am going to start vlogging. I keep talking about it. I have the footage, I'm just starting to edit. So I hope that you guys enjoy this new chapter and I hope that this video maybe gave you some insight into my past growing up for those of you who had questions about the show. Hopefully this answers some of them and now you can kind of see which direction I'm pushing my new content in and kind of how it ties in with the past. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope this video was informative. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, give it the old thumbs up. Really helps my channel, super appreciate it. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys want to see, what videos you're liking, who else you're watching on YouTube. I'd love to see all these things and really connect with you and just start a conversation. So thank you so much again and I look forward to seeing you next time. You should see my cat right now. She looks hilarious. She like was licking her leg and then threw it up in the air and fell backwards.